Let's play Skip Counting Memory, game P2 in the Math Card Games book. The objective of this game is to help children memorize the skip counting patterns. These patterns help in learning the multiplication facts and will be used later on in reducing fractions and in algebra. Use the blue multiplication cards, called the product cards, and the envelopes with the skip counting patterns. When you receive these decks of cards in the mail, they will be already sorted and just need to be put into the envelopes. Each envelope will have 10 cards in it. We will be using these cards for many other multiplication games. To begin, we will choose two envelopes, one for each player. Today, we will use the fours and eights. Remove the cards from the envelopes and carefully shuffle them together. Always be sure that you are putting half the deck in front of the other cards and do not force them together as this bends the cards. Lay the cards out into in rows of five and you'll have four rows of five. The envelopes themselves are used by the children to help them learn the skip counting patterns. Are you ready to play? Yes. Good. Each player picks up cards in the sequence shown on the envelopes. The cards should be placed on the table in the same pattern that the envelope has. Okay, the first player to go will turn over a card. Okay, Evan will let you go first so you're the youngest. Okay, you turned over a four. Do you need that? Yes. All right, so he's going to start his pattern and because he got what he wants, he gets to go again. A 24. Are you going to need that? All right, so you need to remember where it was, but you don't need it yet. Megan, it's your turn. Hey, all right, do you need that? All right, very good. And you get to go again since you found what you wanted. Do you need that next? No. Okay, remember the cards must be picked up in the order that appears on the envelope. So now it's Evan's turn again. Eight. Do you need that one? Yes. Very good. What are you looking for next? Twelve. Twelve. All right. Twenty-four. Will you need that card? Later on, so remember where it is, right? And that's Megan's turn again. As you see, the cards continue to be picked up in the order, and we do want to encourage students to lay them in the order that they found on the envelope. Oh, great job, and you're looking for 24. Do you remember where that was? Parents and teachers remind the children to return the cards to the proper envelopes when they're finished with the game. This makes them all ready for the next time you play.